Here's a question for you. What was the one thing that God required of the kings of Israel? Well, they weren't supposed to do some things. Deuteronomy 17 says they weren't supposed to get gold or silver or acquire a lot of wives or get a lot of horses. But God did have one main task for them. The king was to write out a copy of the Torah, to keep it with him all the days of his life, to read it, to study it, so that his heart would not be lifted up in pride above his countrymen and so that he wouldn't turn aside to the right or to the left from God's commandments. Now, the king did lots of things. He was ahead of the army. He took care of the poor and needy. He rendered judgment. So why of all these things would God focus in on this study of the Word of God? Because God knew that the more time the king spent in the Word of God, the more that Word would have its way with him. It would bear fruit in his life, in his calling to be king. Now, you and I have different vocations. We're not kings. But we have whatever callings in life that God has given to us. And this has applicability to us as well, because the more time that we spend in the Word of God, the more time that we reflect on what God has spoken to us, the more that Word is going to have its way with us as well. The more it's going to bear fruit in our own lives so that we too might bear the fruit of love and service to the people that God has placed in our spheres so that we too may serve them as a fruit of the Spirit of that Word of God within us.